हाँ नमस्कार इन दिस लेक्चर वी शैल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्लाटे हेलमेंट इज फ्लैट वॉर्म और टेप वॉर्म नाउ इन अ प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन एनिमल क्लासिफिकेशन द पॉरीफेरा एंड निडारियंस इन केस ऑफ पॉरीफेरा द सेलुलर लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉज देयर इन केस ऑफ निडारिया द टिश्यू लेवल नॉट देर इज अ टिश्यू लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज ऑर्गेन फॉर्मेशन नॉट ऑकर्ड tissue level organization occurred but no connective tissue was there in this case we shall see we will encounter that uh, tissue level of organization is present as well as organization of organ development also occurred that is cephalization and eye like structure hmm? so the platy helminth is the most important in that sense hmm? first of uh, all we shall discuss about the what are the different larval stage of platy helminthes and what are the different uh, salient traits of these platy helminthes first we will see that is the larva uh these are the different types of larva most important it is for neat exam because uh, suddenly the larva are asked larvae what are, what types of larvae and in which phylum these are actually uh, same so platy helminthes the larva are these kinds of larva five kinds of larva they are miracidium larva sporocyst radia sarcaria and metasarcaria this larva that is this sequence is most important mainly in case of tinea solium uh miracidium sporocyst radia sarcaria and metasarcaria these are the different larvae larval stage of uh, mainly the fasciola hepatica sip liver flow and also uh, it is very important and uh, in case of miracidium uh, and in the metasarcaria and miracidium these are two most important in that sense so your know, students have to understand and remember the sequence that is first miracidium then sporocyst then radia sarcaria and metasarcaria however after the larval stage we shall see the traits what are the different traits first trait is it is a dorso ventrally flat flattened their body structure is flat dorso ventrally flat head cephalization and organ formation first we Uh, we, we are encountering here we are seeing we are uh, observed that we are observing here that this head of cephalization or organ development in a previous two phylum that is in nidaria and porifera in case of porifera only, only cellular level of organization they are in tissue tissue organization first we have encountered in nidarians and nervous system in this case is a ladder like nerve system we will see that ladder like nerve nervous system will be develop however what happened now the second one head or cephalization and organ formation occurred in these platy helminthes free living planaria as well as the parasite that is the platy helminthes are both free living condition they may present in free living and mostly in parasitic condition uh, the common example of free living is planaria now planaria is a uh, a common platform which are pre uh, present in a uh, in free living conditions so blind sac type body structure that is they have a mouth but no anus blind sac in in this also case in case of nidarians as well as in platy helminthes hmm, there is a blind case the questions are asked that in which phylum the blind sac type hmm, body structure is present uh, in case of porifera nidarian tinofera uh, nidaria and uh, platy helminthes in case of porifera it is not a huh, blind sac type body cavity because it's so many pores are there in their body but in case of nidarians as well as in platy helminthes the blind sac type body structure is present that is only anus no mouth part is there sorry uh, no anus only mouth part is there ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm in a previous classes in a previous phylum we have seen that the two hmm, diploblasts but in this case this is a triploblastic ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm but no coelom is there 
no silom or hemocilis there. Hmm? It is a mesoderm, ectoderm in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Mesoderm is present and mesoderm is mainly parenchymatous. Hmm? Most important thing is the ectoderm. In between ectoderm and endoderm is a mesoderm and is a parenchymatous. A specialized respiratory organ. A specialized respiratory organ and the muscular system is absent here. That is a specialized respiratory organ. Respiration mainly occurs by the means of surface respiration. That is surface part. Body surface part. Hmm. So a specialized respiratory organ like lung development is not occurred. They are all ammonotelic. That is ammonia released as an excretory product. They are ammonotelic. No circulatory system. As I mentioned that no vascularization or circulation system is present. That is no blood vessels is present. No circulatory system. Plants, plant cell as as a excretory organ may or may not be present. Flame cell as an excretory organ may or may not be present for excretion as well as for osmoregulation. So, no coelom or body cavity filled with parenchyma. Mm, no, no coelom is there and body cavity is filled with parenchyma I already, already discussed. Ladder like nervous system. Nervous system is far more developed than the nidarians. Nidaria, we have encountered already that the nidaria has only network type of uh, nervous system, but in this case, a ladder like nervous system present. Incomplete digestive tract, that is, I have mentioned that they are the closed body cavity type, blind sac type body cavity, that is, they have a mouth but no anus, so it is incomplete type of digestive tract. No separate male and female body. They are hermaphrodite, that is bisexual. Hmm? Only in some rare cases, I shall discuss later it is, that is in which cases huh? it is uh, bisexual, male and female body is separate. In, in case of blood flow, mainly the blood flow, cystosoma hematobium. In this case, male and female body is different, that is male and female uh, one is different, but female lives on the uh, abdominal part, abdominal cavity of the male. Hmm? So, this is very important. No skeleton or metamorphic, huh? metameric segmentation is there. No skeleton is present, exoskeleton is present and no metameric segmentation is there. That is metameric segmentation, that is a segmented part from which the total body is developed. However, hermaphrodite or bisexual, they are all organisms are bisexual except the Cystosoma hematobium, that is the blood flux. So, these are the different traits. Hmm? Body cavity filled with parenchyma. Now, we shall see that the uh, they, are, they have actually the copulatory apparatus, that is an internal sexual reproduction. Although they are bisexual, but they have a separate copulatory apparatus and internal fertilization occurs. So, this is very important and so now we shall discuss the what are the common name or common uh, platforms. Hmm? These are planaria, it's called dublatia, this is also name, another name. Sip liver flow, fasciola hepatica, that the most common fasciola hepatica and interstitial, intestinal flow, hmm? fasciolopsis busci, this name students have to write again and again and remember and it have, they have to remember the blood flow huh? cystosoma hematobium there is a blood flow cystosoma the hepatic portal system hepatic portal system is mainly blocked by this uh, kind of uh, flux uh, blood flux is cystosoma hematobium pock tapeworm are called tinea solium tinea solium is most mainly mainly present in a pop and in human beings are the what life cycle this uh, tinea solia requires the life cycle of this uh, pork that is a pig's body and the body of human being the tinea solia uh, the tinea affected uh, pork meat contains some white kind of spots and these white spot containing pork meat are called measly pork this measly pork if not properly properly boiled during the eating that this will cause the 
tenesis the disease tenia so level transfer to the human body have a beep tape form is also there it's called tenia saginata hmm? dog tape form called echinococcus huh? granulosus echinococcus granulosus this is very important dog tape form hmm? man's intestine hmm? in case of man's intestine hymenolepis human beings intestine also develop some uh, tape form example is hymenolepis hmm? ectoparasite of gills of fishes some tapeworm are also present as an ectoparasite in gills of some fishes. They are gyrodactylus. This is very important. That the fishes gills also harbor the flatworms. Hmm? There's a gyrodactylus. Now the intestinal parasites. This is a inter hmm? tetrarynchus. This flatworm is very important. Because uh, it, it is a parasite of elasmobranchi. Elasmobranchi is an intestinal parasite of elasmobranchi. This is tetrarynchus. Polystomum. Polystomum is very common name and present in, is it's very important that the frog and turtle's urinary bladder. Frog and turtle's urinary bladder. This flat one, polystomum, is present in case of frog and turtle's urinary bladder. And tetra, tetra is present in elasmobranchi. Elasmobranchi is organisms hmm, which intestine harbor this tetra hmm? Now, this is a frog and turtle's urinary bladder contain the polystomum. Hmm? Among these, these are very important. And among these, some most important terms and terminologies there. In case of tinea solium, here the tinea solium, the pock tape form. Pock tape forms structure is most important. It has three parts: scolex, neck, and strobila. Scolex, neck, and strobila. Hmm? Tinea solium. The scolex part. Hmm? The scolex part contains sacar, rostellum. And hooks, sacar, rostellum, and hooks. The tinea solium, tinea solium contain the scolex part, neck part, and strobila. The scolex actually uh, the body will be this type of. Not writing due to high humidity. Uh, scolex, scolex part is a head part, and neck part, and total body parts body parts is strobila so three parts and head part contain three region again saka rostellum and hooks these three parts form the adhesive structure and the strobila strobila is contain is many segments these segments called proglottids hmm? strobila contain proglottids so life cycle is present in man man and pigs cystosoma hematobium this is the endoparasitic endoparasitic of hepatic portal system I mentioned this is and female labs in a male's abdominal cavity also mentioned this contain oral sucker and acetabulum this term is very important it has acetabulum as oral sucker cystosoma hematobium acetabulum this term you have to note acetabulum in case of uh, tinea solum there is a scolex neck and strobila this scolex has three parts sucker rostellum and hooks however uh, so this is and uh, this uh, blood hooks life cycle moves by uh, complete uh, it requires a snail and man snail name is oncomelania blood hooks this is oncomelania is one host and human being is another host so blood hooks life cycle moves through the snails oncomelania and human beings this you have to remember this. Now, Opistorchis sinensis, Chinese liver fluke. I have not mentioned here. Opistorchis sinensis, Chinese liver fluke, living in human gallbladder. Chinese liver fluke, hmm? Opi, Opistorchis, Opistorchis, hmm? Opistorchis sinensis. Hmm? These are harbor in a human gallbladder. They are present in human gallbladder. And also, like uh, 
blood flows they are also we call a snail but that snail is not like the previous one that is oncomelania here is not here it is human and pythenia snail pythenia snail so chinese liver flu required two host human and pythenia snail and diphylobothrium is another diphylobothrium i have fish diphylobothrium i have not mentioned here fish f1 diphylobothrium it has two intermediate host human beings cyclops fish and human beings so cyclops and fish are two intermediate host in case of fish type form that is diphylobothrium this term you have to write properly and remember diphylobothrium opisthorchis huh? and cystosoma hematobium these are so this is overall a and some important term that is proglottids rostellum hmm, hooks sucker hmm, these are you have to and acetabulum this term should be hmm, remembered